Hi, I'm Adisha Dahanayaka. I'm the founder of Double XL. I'm featured on today's episode of uh, Ask Me on High TV. So this segment is actually me. So I'm ready for the questions you can ask me. Hi, Adisha. Hi. What time do you get up in the morning and how do you start your day? Well, I wake up in the morning around, let's say, 7. I'm not a morning person. Uh, and I play some music in the morning. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Well, uh, I have quite a few. Uh, I can't actually remember. What did you want to be when you grew up? I always wanted to be a businesswoman. Yoga or gym? Gym. What's your favorite non-sports related activity? Maybe like I always like to travel. What is the biggest disruption in your workday? I actually don't have a disruption, I would say, because I really love what I do. So it's pretty good so far. <laughs> would you rather go hiking with Ranil Vikramasinghe or sing karaoke with Sunil Perera? Of course, I'm going to sing karaoke with Sunil Perera. <laughs> Who has been the greatest influence on you and why? Well, definitely it's my father. What's the one thing you've learned never to do as of now? There's nothing like that. I always take life as it is, so, yeah. What is the one thing you've learned in school that is completely pointless? Uh, nothing, like, I mean, like, everything, like, who I am today because of my school, so, yeah. Kumar Sangakkara or Mahela Jayawadana? In your opinion, who is the better cricketer? Uh, okay, I think my hell is well enough. What's one decision everyone in any kind of business should take? Well, I think it's always, uh, you should come up with some uh, innovative ideas, like, you know, so you should think out of the box. If, uh, yeah, I think. What is the best way to run a meeting? I think punctuality and also I want my team to be very prepared, well prepared, because we, why we, have a meeting is like just to uh, make decisions so they have I want them to be prepared well prepared who would you choose as a co-star in a movie you are starring in JLo or Aishwarya Rai Tom Cruise or Shah Rukh Khan uh, Tom Cruise <laughs> would you rather play golf with Tiger Woods or go to the Oscars with Rowan Atkinson I play golf with Ty Tiger Woods Android or iPhone iPhone <laughs> What's the hardest thing about being a woman? Uh, hardest thing? Nothing. <laughs> what is one attribute that every good business person should have? Uh, well, I think uh, I would say positive mindset. What's your most prized personal possession? Well, I think it's uh, my brand Double XL. What is your favorite country to visit? Well, uh, I love Brussels, Belgium. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm a night owl. Are you a coffee person or tea person? coffee person. As a Sri Lankan, what's your favorite Sri Lankan dish? Well, rice and curry. Uh, okay, so let me explain it. <laughs> like, let's say coconut sambal and uh, dal and rice and maybe some dried fish. Yeah, and papadal. Yeah. What would be one word to describe you? Strong. What is one trait that you look for in a new employee? I always want to want to uh, uh, my team uh, to be very open mind and very positive uh, and uh, because uh, skill and the drill of course you can teach them but the attitude and positive mindset that's inside work so I prefer like my team to be very positive. What's your best advice for people starting out in their business? Well yeah uh, don't give up you know when you start a business like uh, try to somehow stick to your concept because back then when we started like Double XL in 2010 it was pretty hard for us to place the brand because that was niche market and that was uh, plus sizes size mark uh, plus size brand so it was pretty hard for us to place the brand but uh, though everyone was asking me to like come up with all small sizes and why don't you uh, have small sizes also in store along with plus size clothing but I always stick to my concept um, so I think uh, that's how it has to be. What is the proudest moment in your career? Started Double XL in 2010 as a plus size clothing brand. I think that's the proudest moment by far. What was the toughest period in your career? 
business is like all about going up and down, so uh, it's like uh, it's like a roller coaster. So uh, there's no any period, like kind of a period. But when we started the business, that was quite a bit difficulties. But uh, but uh, yeah, that's how it is when the startup. So yeah. If you put a bumper sticker on your car, what would it say? I don't know. I can't even think about it now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Beauty beyond size. How would your family describe you? Uh, a wild child. <laughs> if you had a chance to be someone else, who would you be? Well, I'm happy who I am, so I don't think <laughs> I want to be someone else. <laughs> what is one word you say the most? Uh, oh my God. What is the best professional advice you've ever been given? Well, the best advice I've received uh, I think from my father. Uh, he told me uh, it's not the speed, it's the direction because uh, I'm a person who always makes some quick decisions. Because you can have like 110 plans but if you don't have a vision like, and you don't know where are you going to. So I think that's the best advice I've received so far. What are the top three apps on your smartphone? Well, WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> what really makes you angry? Uh, I can't stand for dishonest people and uh, when some when people are fake, I really can't stand for. What is a change you'd like to bring about in Sri Lanka? Well, I want people to think out of the box because don't like just follow, just do something different. What is your passion? Uh, I think my passion is like my work, coming up with different collections uh, for plus size body type. And also now recently uh, I started powerlifting, so yeah, so both, like, you know, my work and powerlifting. <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? Well, I would say Roger Feder. What is the brand of your perfume? Uh, Coco Chanel. What's your favorite three-word sentence? Never give up. What would you do if you were the president of Sri Lanka? I'm not into politics at all, so I can't think of any, sorry. <laughs> Are you an introvert or an extrovert? A uh, both. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Definitely it would be rice and curry, some Sri Lankan food, yeah. Well, uh, I think that segment went well, but I, I was a bit panic uh, from the beginning. But uh, I hope uh, I done, I've done quite a good job. <laughs>
and men and women both like you know it's different body types so I'm glad that we have started and like most of the people like a lot of brands that I, I can see now like they have like they are just slowly they're introducing too so which is uh, nice to see yeah. if Adisha could live forever how would she spend eternity oh what is this question <laughs> doing what I love if Adisha could be summed up in a hashtag what would it be oh okay uh, it would be never give up what are Adisha's favorite clothing brands uh well i love zara uh what is adisha's biggest pet peeve maybe like you know fake people what is adisha's dream car a range rover i love that vehicle uh how would adisha's best friends describe her drama queen <laughs> what is Adisha's favorite outfit? White shirt and a denim. What is Adisha's favorite novel? Uh, I don't read novel, but I love uh, this change by Daniel Steele. How many siblings does Adisha have? One younger brother. Annoying, but I love him. What is Adisha's favorite genre of music? Well, I love, it depends, like, you know, it depends my mood, so when I'm stressed, I use, I love to listen to Enya or like Yanni music, and when I go to gym, when I go to the gym and when I do powerlifting, I listen to all this hard rock and uh, yeah, so that's how it goes. What Adisha's most fondest memory? Actually, all the time I spent with my father, yeah, I really miss him, so yeah, I think that's my most fondest memory, so it's like quite a few, I can't just pinpoint, so. What motivates Adisha? Adisha. <laughs> what was the last gift Adisha gave someone? Ah yes, I gave uh, uh, actually a nice dress for my mother. Does Adisha cook? Uh, yes, I love cooking. Uh, what are the top three goals in Adisha's bucket list? Yeah. The first thing is I want to make my brand global. That's my first and the second and the third thing. <laughs> so does Adisha believe in luck? Well, yeah, more than that I believe in hard work, but yeah, 90% hard work and 10% luck, yes. What is the first thing Adisha notices about a person? Uh, eyes. Is Adisha a clean or messy person? I'm a clean person. I'm not messy at all. <laughs> I can't stand for it. <laughs> is Adisha a gym freak? Yes, I am. <laughs> what would Adisha do if she wins a million dollars? I'm into like uh, some charity work these days. Like I actually uh, do some work for all the less fortunate children. So uh, I may spend some bucks to them and uh, yeah, and the rest uh, I don't want to tell. <laughs> Is Adisha a cat or a dog person? I'm a dog person. What is Adisha's idea of female entrepreneurship? Well, I think I can see nowadays that there are a lot of women who are in the industry, which is really a good thing. So to see and, uh, you know, women are they're taking risk and they take the challenge. And uh, so it's a good thing to see. So I think it's a, it's a good thing to see a lot of women in industry, especially in like clothing and fashion and clothing industry and um, uh, some other industries too. If Adisha could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, I would like to fly. <laughs> but I'm 84 kg, so. Uh, what is the most impressive skill Adisha has? Well, again, it's uh, impressive. I don't know how impressive it is, but uh, I, I'm a person who never gave up. I always want to try hard. And if someone tells me like, you can't do this, I always want to show him like two times, uh, I can do this, like, you know. It's pretty like this. It's like, if you tell me like, you can't, uh, I always want to show them like, no, I can't. So I think it's, I don't give up. So that's my most impressive skill. Well, that segment was uh, pretty hard. Like, you know, I was like, actually it was like, I was a bit panic. But I think I did it right, so yeah. So that was good. Okay, so 
now the final segment is a Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever Googled my own name to see what comes up. I have. Uh, and then like when I Googled it, like it, that was the first two games, first games. Never have I ever ugly cried for no reason. I have. Never have I ever lost sunglasses that I was already wearing. Oh, I have never. Never have I ever tried to look at the sun. I have many times. <laughs> never have I ever lied about my age. I've never. Never have I ever wanted to be a superhero. I have. <laughs> never have I ever been scared of the dark. No. Never have I ever sung on a stage. I have, many times. Never have I ever sung a song out loud and messed up the lyrics. Uh, I have. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I think the song was like, uh, have you ever seen the rain coming down on a sunny day? So, like, that's my favorite song. So, like, all the time, like, I sometimes I messed up, yes. Never have I ever screamed because of a bug. Yeah, I have, like, um, yeah, cockroaches I hate, I don't like. Never have I ever practiced public speaking in front of a mirror. Hmm. All the time. <laughs> Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. Uh, no, I don't like. Never have I ever worn the same jeans for a week without washing them. No, <laughs> no, not at all. Never have I ever used my cell phone while driving. It's a bad habit, but yes, I have. Never have I ever been on a fad diet. Well, I eat what I want, so no. Never have I re-gifted something that was gifted to me. Uh, well, no. I really don't like that. Never have I ever participated in a play. I have, at school, yeah. Never have I ever hated a present but told someone that I loved it. <laughs> oh, hmm, yeah, I have done like, let's say, many times. Never have I ever given a stranger a fake phone number. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I have. <laughs> Never have I ever tried to make someone jealous. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Never have I ever injured myself while trying to impress someone I was interested no, in. No, never. I don't hurt myself. Never have I ever said I love you without meaning it. Uh, no. Never have I ever made a prank phone call. Yes. <laughs> Never have I ever dreamed of taking revenge on someone. No, I don't like. I don't revenge. Never have I ever had a bad fall because I was walking and texting. No. Never have I ever spied on my neighbors. No. Never have I ever gone camping in a tent. Yeah, I have many times because my father used to work at forest department. So those days I used, we used to go to Knuckles Train Forest. So yeah, many times I've did. It's amazing. Never have I ever gotten seasick. Uh, no. Never have I ever had a surprise party thrown for me. Yeah, actually two. Uh, I ha yeah, two. The one was up last year and the other one was like, let's say like seven years ago. <laughs> that was for my birthday. That was like amazing. Never have I ever planted a tree. I have, like many times. Never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. Uh, yeah, maybe I have, yeah. Never have I ever had a paranormal experience. Uh, no, lucky. <laughs> Never have I ever been to Europe. Yes, I have. Never have I ever been pushed into a pool with my clothes on. I have. <laughs> Never have I ever donated blood. I have, two times. Never have I ever slept all day. Yeah, I did like, but that was horrible. Never have I ever gone rock climbing. I have done many times with my father. That was amazing. Never have I ever been in true love. A bit difficult to answer. <laughs> yeah, I have. Never have I ever broken a promise. Ah, uh, I hate to break a promise, so no, I have never. Never have I ever danced in the rain. I have many times. Never have I ever made money illegally. Ah, uh, no. Never have I ever bought a gift from a discount store and put it in a different package to make it look expensive. Ah, uh, no, I've never done that. Never have I ever told a lie about something I really didn't do. Lie about, no, 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 I haven't. Never have I ever forgotten a loved one's birthday. I never do that, but uh, they do sometimes. Never have I ever walked out of a restaurant without paying. No, I've never done that. Never have I ever gone to a birthday party and not taken a gift. 
Uh, yeah, last year, my, one of my best friends about the party, yeah, I did that, but uh, it's only for him, like, you know. So I don't think I would say I have never done that, yeah. Never have I ever jumped into the water from a boat? Yeah, I have done it, like, I think last two years ago when we were in Mirissa, yeah. That was a family trip, so I just did that. <laughs> never have I ever swum in the ocean? I have. Never have I ever gone to office without brushing my teeth? Uh, no. <laughs> Never have I ever given money to a homeless person. Uh, many times. Never have I lied during the course of this game. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh, so guys, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed the whole show. That was amazing. The first segment was pretty hard. The second was, uh, was hardest. <laughs> but the third one is it's much more fun. So I really enjoyed this. Thank you for having me. Good luck.